All right, now many of you were jolted out of your sleep or even uh, caught up in the uh, storms yesterday morning at this time. Now, with all the rain that we had, it was pretty widespread. Was it enough to solve the drought issues across North Texas? We bring in meteorologist Marty Ruiz to talk to us about that. Are we still going to be dealing with dead grass out there on the lawns? <laughs> well, it depends on where you're at. If you were in Tarrant County, Northern Tarrant County or Denton County, we had a lot of rain. Look at the highest total I saw from yesterday. Grapevine Lake picked up over five and a half inches of rain with that cluster of storms that came through about 24 hours ago. Grapevine around four inches, Louisville uh, close to five and Capel about 3.3 at DFW Airport, two and a half inches of rain. Now the most I saw again, Denton County picked up anywhere between two to about five inches of rain. Portions of Dallas County between two to three and Tarrant County between one to about two and a half. Collin County about two and a half inches of rain. Now it's important to note that our drought monitor comes out on Thursday. This rain it's not going to be taken into account this time around. So I'm going to show you here how yesterday's played out. So yesterday's update on the drought monitor shows that this one's from last week. Look at this. We actually had a drought worsen across northern Tarrant County to extreme drought status. Unfortunately, that rain that we had yesterday won't be reflected in the drought monitor until next week. Yes, it was incredibly beneficial, and unfortunately, it might be the last round of that heavy soaking rain here in the next couple of weeks as we settle into this summertime pattern. We have close to near normal precip over the next two weeks to below normal. So uh, we're hoping that we see some uh, some better uh, results here as we approach next week.